we will be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Canada's borders are closing, but there are exceptions. We'll have the latest on the new travel restrictions. They're scared their kids are going to fall behind. Parents scramble as the province closes schools to students. What's next for kids with weeks left in the school year? And the pandemic is hitting small businesses here hard. More on the major slowdown and how they're coping. Good evening. We begin with breaking new developments on the coronavirus pandemic, which is changing and evolving rapidly. Canada is taking drastic new travel measures to stop the spread of COVID-19. Tonight, we have full coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic here at home and around the world. First, the, the number of cases continues to grow in our country. There are now over 400. There are now three more deaths, bringing the total to four, all in B.C. Global's Gil Tucker is at the Calgary International Airport tonight. Lauren Pullen is at the Calgary Emergency Management Agency. And Michael King is in the Global Newsroom with the latest update from Alberta health officials. Let's start with you, Michael. What are the latest numbers? Well, Joel, there are 18 new cases of COVID-19 in our province, bringing Alberta's total number of cases up to 74. The first cases in Alberta's north and south zones were also reported today, meaning all five health zones across the province are now impacted. It's not known how many of the new cases are from community spread, but health officials say the majority are still travel-related. Of Alberta's 74 cases, five people are recovering in hospital. The others are self-isolating at home. We're also learning a bit more about an event in the Calgary zone that led to seven new cases over the weekend. I do know that there were approximately 40 people gathered in a home uh, and that the source of the infection was someone who traveled from outside the country. Uh, and there was then transmission at that event. I think again, it underlines that when you have lots of people in close contact, particularly with people who are traveling from outside of the country, that that raises the risk. Now, as you saw, there's been a few changes to the daily briefings. Dr. Hinshaw says she came down with cold symptoms and following her own advice, she's in self-isolation and working from home.